What's up fellow Pokemon trainers, Andre here, and I decided to go on a late night jaunt last night and just see where the wild grass took me. Um, I wanted to venture out a little bit farther than I normally have in these videos and see if we could find some new Pokemon, um, like this Bulbasaur here, even though I already have one, I do believe that is the first wild Bulbasaur we've come across. Uh, and so I just wanted to see, um, you know, explore more of what the game has to offer, more of what the locales have to offer, and see if I can take on maybe another gym leader or two. So, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to stay, stay here for about, I think, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I recorded for about an hour, but I'm not going to show you the entire video. Um, and yeah, and look, things start off right away with an Execute right here. Um, this is my first encounter with one. So, let's see how I do, because I actually don't remember. Oh, hey, first try, alright, <laughs> I one shot of them. Perfect, I'll take that. Uh, and then I think after this, um, well, so once again, I'm doing a post-commentary on this, because I didn't want to record commentary live. Uh, for one, it would look a little bit weird, and two, I don't really have a good means of doing that, because I already have to carry around a couple devices to record the audio as is. Um, so the audio you're hearing is actually direct from the game, uh, for most of this video. It craps out at the end, so I'll just replace that with some generic game music. Anyways, here we are at the gym, it's a Team Red gym, which of course, they are pawn scum, as you already know, if you follow me on Twitter. We, we don't like the red team here, it's all about blue team. Um, so I'm checking over my characters right now, my Pokemon characters, god. And I'm leveling them up. I want to uh, make them as strong as possible. And Execute, look at him! He is already at the top of my uh, Pokemon gang here. That's what they're called, right? Pokemon gangs? Um, so I'm going to level them up a little bit, or power them up. And yeah, I'm just trying to try make my team as powerful as possible for taking on this gym leader. So I was actually surprised Execute was that strong. And in fact, that's something I've noticed tonight even, is that the Pokemon I encountered seem to be much stronger in general than they were before. So I don't know if that's a function of me leveling up or what. I'm guessing it is. Alright, so we are taking on a Machamp. And uh, evidently I am not being very effective against him, whereas he's super effective, if I'm reading that right. I think I am. And that's not good. That's actually really not good. You can see he is executing me, if you <laughs> want to look at it that way. Where... Execute, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I'm almost already dead, and he's not. He's only half dead. So we sent out a Poliwog. I think oh, I don't know if this is my original Poliwog or if this is a newer Poliwog or Poliwag, I guess. I don't know. Poliwog sounds better, I think. I guess it's Poliwag. All right, come on, Bulbasaur, you can do it. So I think this guy is my original. Oh yeah, this has to be. Or actually, no, I don't know. I don't remember what level the C what CP the other one I just found was, but I think that might be my original. Maybe not. Anyways, Pidgeotto finished off Maychamp. Go figure. But now we got a freaking Golbat up, and he's not the first Golbat we'll see tonight. Or not the only Golbat we'll see tonight. He is the first Golbat we'll see tonight. <laughs> so, I'm still working on my timing for when to dodge attacks. Right now, I'm basically just attacking and just <laughs> automatically dodging. I'm pretty sure there has to be more to it than just that. Um, which would explain why I'm just getting trounced. Although there's also the fact that these guys are... Their CP is off the charts, at least compared to where I'm at right now. So I don't know how they're already that high. But I've been playing a decent amount. I mean, I guess I haven't been playing anywhere close to what some people are out there. But... So, look, we lost. And, oh, side note. This gym is actually at... Uh, it's called the San Francisco Armory. It's a giant building um, in the Mission District. And it's now a porn studio. <laughs> it's where they film adult movies. And I find it funny that it's now a Pokemon gym. Um, in fact, while I was out there battling uh, these characters, or these characters, I keep calling them characters, when I was out there battling the gym tonight, um, I saw several other people playing Pokemon Go just pass me by. Uh, some of them were trying to try and take on the gym as well. They were having connection issues. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty... I mean, it's crazy how many people I've seen playing this game um, already. And I saw, like, I saw couples playing this game together, like both of them playing. It's nuts. This game, I've never seen anything like this. This game is... I've never seen a game take over a city like this has. And not just a city, like, around the world from my year. Like, even in, like, small towns, I'm hearing people, like, running into each other. It's just nuts. Alright, so we found a, uh, Machop, I believe. If I remember my Pokemon names right. It's not on the screen right now, and I didn't read it before. But, uh, yeah, that's another new Pokemon. And I actually encounter all kinds of new Pokemon tonight, so... So I wonder if it being nighttime has something to do with it, because I didn't encounter the normal ones I did uh, that I've already encountered so many times. Alright, so we're moving on from that gym. I lost, you know, I lost to Team Red. I'll give him credit for that one. Touche, Team Red. But it's time to move on. We're going to power up. You can see, oh, I put an egg in the incubator, or, uh, yeah, in the uh, incubator earlier, and it's already halfway to hatching. And uh, we may just see what comes out later on. What could it be? I like how it looks like, it looks like a Yoshi egg to me, almost. Not quite. 
it's not quite as magical as Yoshi egg would be. But look here, that, this is where it looks like a Yoshi egg. Um, so I'm trying to put in another egg in the incubator here, or in, in another incubator. I'm still a little... These menus aren't the most user-friendly, I find. I, I find them a little bit confusing at times. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to figure out how I put it into the incubator. Perhaps I should click that giant start incubator button. Um... All right, and I think that might be another new Pokemon coming up. But first, we're gonna stop by the Pokestop, being the black painted sidewalk people, which I haven't, I, I actually haven't noticed that in real life. There's so many Pokestops I don't notice the details of. All right, another one shot. And so, as you noticed, I have turned off the um, AR, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, it's actually way easier to uh, target Pokemon now. Um, even though this Pokemon is a yellow one, which means he's a harder one to capture than the other Pokemon, despite the fact it's a freaking um, you know, what is it? I'm gonna call him Metapod, because I'm El Kakuna, that shit. And, like, how can they even evade the Pokeball? But anyways, um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, I turned off AR, I find it is easier to aim and get the Pokemon. Also, you look slightly less like a crazy person when you're, like, aiming around trying to get all the Pokemon, so that's also why I do it. And now, also, that way random people don't end up in my videos. Well, as much, at least. Alright, we leveled up to level 7, got a whole bunch of items for that as well. And yeah, um, you may have noticed too, I have incense activated. I activated that, I believe, before I started the video. Just so we can increase the amount of Pokemon we encounter. And yeah, and I, I think I'm actually going to try out the, um, in the bottom right corner where it shows a near Pokemon, Pokemon there nearby. I think I'll play around with that in a little bit to try and target some specific Pokemon. So we stop by another uh, Pokestop here. Still like, still like spinning those emblems. And we're just continuing our peaceful walk at night downtown. Here we go. So uh, that is a Grimer, I believe. Looks like it's three footsteps away, which is supposed to be pretty far. I forget how far that is exactly, but it shouldn't be close. So for whatever reason, there are a ton of birds in this area, it seems. Between Sparrows, Pidgeots, Pidgeots. It's endless. I've got so many of them. Um, and what I've started doing now, too, and what I recommend to you as well, if you want to save time, is you can actually donate these guys or send them to, to the professor right after you catch them. Um, and I think you'll see me do that here. Yep, there I go, transfer it. And that way you get your candy instantly. You don't have to worry about going to your Pokemon list later. You can just take care of it right then and there. It's way, just it's convenient doing it that way. So I also have the lucky egg activated so I can double my experience for the next 30 minutes. And that's how we're going to level up even faster. Get up to... Actually, I won't spoil what level we get up to here. Even though it's not really much of a spoiler, it's like, it's a number. <laughs> so we can see a gym over there. I don't think I tried to take that one on. Um, But, there is some grass flying around here. What could that be? Oh, I like the, I like the artwork there. A giant shark. Oh, and look at that! It's a Grimer! We're going for it. We're going in. Man, he is one ugly dude. Although, he, he, he just looks like, like a garbage pile. Which is kind of fitting, actually, for San Francisco. <laughs> he actually doesn't look out of place. He actually looks right at home, even on the streets of San Francisco. So we're going to register that Pokedex. So, and you know what? It, w it would seem... That having a lucky lucky egg act, uh, activated is actually even more important the earlier earlier you are in the game because you get that 500 XP bonus whenever you encounter a new Pokemon. Um, and since that only happens the first time you encounter one, you want to capitalize on that by doubling it with the lucky egg because you won't get that bonus later on until they start adding new Pokemon beyond initial 151. So yeah, if, you're, if there's a time to use lucky eggs, it's early into the game before you've you know before you start maxing out your Pokédex. And that, we should put that tip on our tip video. I thought that angel was like flipping us off there for a second, but <laughs> all right. So we've uh, now that we have our grammar. We turn on the butterfree indicator, trying to find a butterfree, and there's not any close by. Even though I said that for the grammar, as we encountered one, so I don't know what it's talking about. Unless I could be wrong. Unless the thing I highlighted was a uh, muck and not a grammar, is grammar right? Um, in which case, maybe the grammar was random. And I never, and I never get caught, never got close to the mucks. <laughs> yep, there's another bird. So 
So, earlier today, I was having all kinds of problems connecting. I was actually trying to, I actually was downtown earlier, met up with one of my friends at GameSpot for lunch, and uh, I was going to record uh, Pokestops and, you know, Pokemon around that area, and that's, you know, this was maybe midday, like 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and the servers were just a mess. They were going down constantly. Uh, I couldn't hop on for more than a few seconds. Sometimes when I would get on, it wouldn't load any of the Pokestops. It was just a complete disaster. Uh, but then, um, apparently Nintendo announced that they were shutting down, or they were, they were, they weren't going to roll out Pokemon Go in as many countries as they were planning to right now. So they're they're stepping back a little bit. And I don't know if it's a combination of that, maybe with it being late at night. So you know, maybe some people are going to bed. Uh, but the servers ran awesome when I recorded this. Like I didn't have a single really issue, like any major issues at least. Which, uh, and I was playing for an hour, about almost an hour. So that is noteworthy, so I'm hoping this is a sign of things to come, that they're, they're actually starting to get this hammered out, or at least the, the demand starting to reach a point where um, it's no longer an issue. But, we'll see. We'll see how that goes moving forward. I would transfer my Poliwog, I don't need another one of those guys, and my first one failed me at the gym I took over down the street. He was kicked out in like no time, so... Or Poliwag, whatever. Oh my, I am so sick of Zubats, by the way, my god. I, uh, they, I have so many of these guys. And this is not the first one. He probably already is in the first one. I'm gonna keep track. But there are a ton that appear tonight. Um, so actually speaking of the higher CPs, so we can already see in my first few videos, all the Pokemon I encountered for the most part, if not entirely, all have the green ring around them. Whereas all these guys have the yellow ring. Um, or most or most of them have so far. So the Pokemon are getting harder, and I haven't encountered any red ones yet. So I'm guessing that is a function of my level going up. Um, so yeah, that's good to know. Because before the Pokemon, like, I would catch them every time, like, the first time the Pokeball hits them. Like, it would catch them, catch them instantly. Whereas now, they actually escape. Some of these Pokemon have the gall to swat the ball away. What is that about? Can you believe that? Alright, the Woodland Nocturnal City. That's actually a fitting, it's a fitting mural for playing a night. Yeah, 100 XP. They're cruising around. There's a gym there. Which I think... I don't think I go for that one either. Assuming that's not the same gym I was talking... No, it's not the same gym I was talking about, so... And another... Ratatata, right? Ratat... Ratatata? Ratata... No... Ratata? Ratat... Ratatata? I don't know. I'm gonna just keep calling a Ratatata. <laughs> that's what you get. When I'm, recording, I'm recording this video actually super late, by the way. So I recorded, what well, we can see on the clock, right? I recorded that at 8.40 p.m. I'm recording my VO at, at after midnight now for me. So, you never know what you can get on late night gaming explain videos. Town Square mural. That's what you're gonna get. So I was talking to um, my friend group. I'm on this, uh, this uh, texting group with some of my friends from like IGN and GameSpot from when I used to work there. And... We're all just playing Pokemon Go, and some of them are complaining that there's no Pokestops around their areas. I feel bad for them, because, like, look, clearly there's no shortage of Pokestops where I'm at. Uh, but apparently some of my friends, even some of them who are in the city elsewhere, they have, like, nothing around them. Um, but one of them was joking that he feels like he's, like, out in the boonies, even though he's in San Francisco. So I'm just checking out Grimer here, I guess. I'm powering up. Yeah, look at that guy. Big fan of, big fan of Grimer. If only because he's by far the strongest on my team. <laughs> Oh yeah, another one shot, but I think it's gonna escape. Let's see if I'm right. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yep, he did it. What a jerk. Um, so what's funny is, because of like how much I'm playing this game, like, or how much, like, when I'm walking, I don't even know how far I've walked. Um, so I actually have a pebble time, and it keeps track of how far you walk. Like, it has a pedometer built in, and it tracks when you go for a walk, and it gives you like words of encouragement. And it's like, hey, good job, you walked, you know, 5% farther than you normally do, keep it up. Um, other times, like, if you don't walk as much as you normally do, it'll, like, it'll be like, hey, were you stuck inside? You should go walk a little bit more next time. Um, tonight, I saw a message i never seen before. I forget exactly what I said, but it, like, it had, like, exclamation marks in it. Like, it was thrilled by how far I was walking, because I did walk a ton today without even realizing it, because it's so easy to get absorbed in this game um, and just keep walking, like, because you see all those spots in front of you, it's like, I have to go reach them, like, I have to go, you know, find these Pokemon, and 
that's something I didn't quite expect. Like, it, it almost seems like it could be like a fitness tool for, you know, as long as it's appealing for, I guess, of course. Um, but yeah, that's something I didn't take into account. Like, even after, when I was done with this, actually, when I stopped recording the video, which we're about, we're almost halfway through now, not quite halfway through, but, um, once I was done officially recording the video, I kept playing, uh, but I was trying to walk to, I was gonna go walk to a hamburger place for dinner, and I kept, like, I was so engrossed in the game, I almost walked right past it. I, I was started, I actually started crossing the street past it, and I looked behind me, I'm like, oh wait, it's right there. <laughs> so, and that was probably half a mile from where I'd stopped recording the video, maybe even farther, um, and I, it didn't feel like any time at all. So it is weird how engrossing this game is, and I'm already seeing, like, reports online of people, um, like, just, you know, just, uh, I don't remember anything specific, but just the idea of you do need to be cognizant of where you are when you're playing this game, because it's very easy to uh, forget, like, you're in a street or something. Okay, maybe not that easy, but you should be careful, so. Are right, the eggs hatching! We walked two kilometers! And it's a freaking rat had a whatever. What a disappointment. That is, that has been the most disappointing thing of all time. Like, that is probably the Pokemon, maybe, okay, I'll give, I'll give him credit, maybe second only to Zubat. It's, it's a close one between those two, I don't know which one I want, which one I would want less. But. Alright, so we're taking on the gym leader here, and I got Grimer up against Clefable. Alright, so Clefable is stronger. Um, and he is destroying me right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not doing a very good job dodging these attacks, so. I still don't have that I still don't have that timing down, so if you can even get it down. I don't know, I wonder if you truly can just become perfect at that, and so you're basically invincible. Um so for whatever reason the game decided that I quit that I chose quit or give up, which I don't think I did. But I must act on a tap there or something, but I have found the UI feels a little bit janky at times in this game, but what you gonna do? So I was complaining about it. All right, come on, execute! You can do it. Nope, you got taken out again. And for whatever reason, uh, there's a Pokemon here, and it was invisible, and it was still dealing damage. So I don't know what happened there. So that's something I actually have encountered a couple of times now, and it's weird. But yeah, gym battles actually seem to be the probably the jankiest part of this game when there's connection issues. But I I forget I mentioned it before, but there have been times where I would get to the very end of a gym battle, like. The enemy would have no health left. They have that sliver of health right now that they have that he has right there, and it just wouldn't end. It would just keep on going because it lost connection with the server. And at, we actually maybe I think we're actually experiencing that right now even. And it turns out that's exactly what happened. So I just cut that out real quick because um, I didn't think you want to sit there for another two or three minutes as the connection just didn't go through. Uh, don't worry, didn't really miss anything else. I just fought Pidgey real quick and I cut that out. But there's another connection issue there. Um, otherwise, we are continuing on. And I forgot to mention. So where I'm going right now is I'm walking to Dolores Park. Um, but that's a big park in San Francisco if you're not familiar with the area, like, that's where, uh, some giant festivities happen, and it just had a remodel, um, I think earlier this year, and it looks gorgeous now, it's a really nice park. Um, so I figured I'd go check it out, let's see, you know, uh, what's going on over there, I figured it might be a hotbed for some Pokemon activities, and, uh, yeah, and actually you can see it right there, there it is, we are close, and sure enough, there is a lot going on there, look at all that grass flying around, man. So, it looks like, it looks like we have the right idea here. And, uh, it looks like there's also a gym in the corner over there, so I think we'll, uh, we'll go check that out, too. And by I think, I mean, we will, because I did it. <laughs> oh, and look, here's actually a Sunday afternoon in Dolores Park mural, so it actually portrays a park. And once we get there, I actually do turn the AR back on for the battles. That way you can see some of the park, although I don't know how much it'll come through because it is nighttime. And phone cameras don't work that well at night. Especially in AR mode, <laughs> or when used in it for AR. Yay, another Pidgey, my favorite. And we're gonna trade that guy away. So I want my candy. Although isn't I don't know. So you feed candy to Pokemon to power them up. How's that work? That's definitely not how it works in real life. Like I don't go go eat a ton of candy to power up myself. I mean I would if I could. That'd be awesome. But pretty sure that will just give you diabetes. 
So really, this is not a very healthy lifestyle for these Pokemon. All right, so we are getting real close to the park, and this park is huge. Um, it's hard to fully understand the scale of it, even going off this map. I mean, you can tell by how slowly I'm walking there, or, you know, I'm walking at a pretty quick pace, actually, but how slow it seems to be and how big that park is. But even that doesn't really do it justice. It is a gigantic park. Um, several, several acres. I forget how many acres, but it is quite large. Not quite the same, not, it's not as big as Golden Gate Park, obviously. That park is ginormous. Uh, which is also in San Francisco, but you also can't walk straight across Golden Gate Park like you can with this, so. I'm so sick of Pidgeys. Our, oh, look at that! Is it, It's a, uh, uh, Ekans, right? I'm drawing on Pokemon names I haven't used in decades. <laughs> So I'm trying to tap, I think I'm trying to tap on right now, but it won't let me. Because I think there's a connection issue right now. So I don't know if it, there we go, all right. Yeah, Ekans. Which I believe is Snake backwards, if I remember correctly. I also could just figure it out right now. <laughs> but that's, that's much too, it's much too simple. Yeah, that is Snake backwards. So yeah, we are on a roll tonight with these new Pokemon, um, but there's something very disappointing coming up very soon, and you're gonna see why. All right, there's Dolores Bell. And I'm not, I actually didn't even notice that when I was there. I'm not even sure if it's still there after the remodel, maybe it is. So evidently a lot of these landmarks um, were actually from um, Neontic's previous game being, oh God, Ingress. So they already had like a whole database ready to go. And I believe you can still submit your own. Oh, here we go. I turn the AR so you can see the park. Yeah, and you're not going to see much. So I'm in the exact middle of it right now. Um, to the left of the giant hill going up and ahead as well, actually. And uh, to the right, it goes downhill. See, so there are some awesome views from the city here. Yeah, got Nita Rand. Hey, who would have ever expected to get like a slight tour of San Francisco in a Game Explain video? In a Pokemon video, no less. All right, another Poliwag. Bam, right in the head. So we can see my egg is, oh my, uh, actually my um, incense only has 20 seconds left. So I just took a picture, <laughs> I was gonna send that to uh, my friends on the group chat we have. Just wanna show them how busy Dolores Park is. So I just get tired of the Zubats, I'm trying to ignore them, like I don't want any more Zubats. So I'm working my way over there right now, we can see they installed, uh, someone installed a module over on that Pokestop. And this is where the very disappointing thing happens. I was so sad when this happens. All right, any moment now, I think. Hopefully. All right, so there. So I think I already have. I think I already have one of these guys. Yeah, so you can see these. There, yeah, you can see the city in the background a little bit. Yep, we, oh, and there we go. I forget what that Pokemon's called. The, um, Lion Dude. That's his name, right? Lion Dude. So, yeah, I keep trying to tap on him, and it won't let me. It keeps going for the Pokestop instead. And then I attack this freaking Zubat instead. Freaking Zubat, man. Let's get him away.
Yay, Zubat. But we'll get candy for it. Anyway, so I'm I'm trying I'm walking away right now, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get better I'm trying to get closer. This is like a whole playground here. I didn't want to walk right through the playgrounds and try to walk around the perimeter. But we see we'll soon why that's a bad idea. <laughs> just we saw a message from Ash saying Derek is doing it wrong. That's a really annoying thing, by the way, is recording these videos is as I can I don't know if there's an option in Android to turn off notifications, but I haven't found it yet. That would be handy though. So I do wish I do wish um Pokemon Go would show elevation. And look, there there he goes. The lion lion dude's gone. Oh, so so annoyed by that. Um but I do wish it showed elevation just because the world looks so flat and boring all the time. And I mean it, it really seems like we all live in Florida when that's not the case. Oh wait, okay, and uh, about a couple minutes ago the audio dropped out. So I'm using the game or I'm just using game music now at this point. But we're almost at the end of the video anyway, so not a huge deal. So check out what Pokemon nearby. It looks like uh Clefairies, I believe, are nearby. And thankfully Derek and Ash keep sending sky messages, which is great. Someone's walking around right here. There was a there's a guy playing with his dog at the park. So yeah, the park it actually wasn't that busy, um, which makes sense. It was nighttime, but this park is usually packed during the day. At night, there really weren't that many people there. So maybe I passed maybe 20 or 30 people in in this giant park. So it's really not that many. And there are probably more people there than that. This is the amount of people I passed. So. Yeah, Zubat! Um, in case you're wondering, I don't know if you are, but in case you are, uh, I'm playing Pokemon Go on the Nexus 6P, and I'm pretty happy with its performance. Even battery life, at least uh, in my experience on my phone, hasn't been that bad. For as much as I've been using it, I would expect it to be far worse, at least based on the reports I've heard. So, I don't know if it runs worse on, on iPhone, maybe, but I've heard a lot of people some of my friends, um, rather, who have iPhones, they've been complaining about the battery life with this game. So I don't know if it's optim not as optimized or not optimized as well on the iPhone, maybe. Um, but on my 6P, it's been running pretty well. In fact, the game actually normally runs even better than what you're seeing in this video. But because after I'm, re I'm running a full screen video recording app at the same time, um, that does eat into the performance a bit. So it does affect the game just, just a little bit. Nothing major, but some occasional hiccups happen that wouldn't otherwise. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I'm walking toward the gym in the corner there, once I transfer this Pokemon away. And we are going to... Hey, look, it's a Muck! So let's see how we fare. And it's too far away. Almost there. We're so close! The first we gotta catch this uh, Clefairy. Which I think is another new Pokemon for us, right? I think we battled one earlier, I don't think we caught one earlier. And I don't know what's happening here. Got it. I'm guessing another server issue. What a surprise. And here we are. We are at the gym. So we're going to take on this guy. Take on his... Um, oh, I'm checking out. So you can also slide left and right, by the way, on the gym. You can see the different... I guess gym leader is here, and I guess see everyone you'll be taking on. So I'm still not sure how exactly that works, how you add your own, like how you add another Pokemon to a gym that's already taken by your team. 
All right, so we got my grammar against his Golbat. And it looks, uh, it was pretty even for at first, not so much now. Now Grammar's getting destroyed. But he's not going down without a fight, so I'll give him that. Yeah, actually, he's doing pretty good. He's almost got, wow, he's almost got go bad done. Aw, oh, lost. So sad. And I think that's where I call it quits. Yep, I just gave up. I couldn't handle any more defeats tonight. So, so there you guys go. That is my entry for today from last night. So thanks for watching. If you like our video, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we'll be posting lots more Pokemon Go videos, and we have lots more we've already posted. So make sure to go check those out if, you, if you've enjoyed these so far. And uh, thanks for watching. Just keep an eye on Gamersplane for lots more on Pokemon Go and other things gaming as well. Catch you later. Bye.